I know you by now. I know who you are. I know that every single year you say, oh my God, this is gonna be my year. I also know that by the end of every year, you don't always accomplish the things that you are supposed to do. I know that because I'm the same way. I'm not judging at all. But one thing's for sure, I can help you to become a more independent girly, especially when it comes to concerts and music festivals. I go to concerts a lot. It's my favorite thing in the world and I've always been by myself. So if I didn't go to those concerts by myself, I probably wouldn't go at all and I would have missed some of the most amazing, insane sets that I've ever seen. I would not have met some of my best friends today and probably I wouldn't love myself as much as I do today because all of that led to so much self-knowledge. So for today's video, I'm gonna go over the reasons why I love going to concerts by myself and hopefully they're gonna be helpful for you and then you can stop missing out the good stuff in 2023, at least that you can do. But before we jump into it, can you please like the video and get subscribed? Come on. I think <laughs> I'm saying the reasons slash advices for concerts, but this applies to literally anything as well because I always travel by myself, I always go out, I go to the movies, I do everything by myself. I do have friends, I do have, it's just that, I don't know, sometimes I just like the freedom. Since we start talking about the freedom, this is the first topic. It's just so good when you go to a concert or a music festival and you don't have anyone to worry with. One problem that always happens, especially at music festivals, is that you want to see one thing and the other person wants to see another thing. You go there, I go there, you see what you want, I see what I want, and then we meet again. If you have ever been in a music festival, you know that most of the time you just don't have service, so your phone is probably not working and that is the most stressful part. This is a little bit complicated because it also goes a little bit deeper, like what what if you are out of battery? You don't feel as safe as you would feel if you had someone else and everything. But honestly, I just prepare myself better. So I made sure that I wouldn't use my phone too much. I made sure that I would have an extra portable charger. The whole point of this topic right here is the freedom. It's just so good when you are on the pay and you're like obsessed with the band and you want to see them front row. But your friend doesn't because they are not obsessed with it or because maybe they are like me. They might be obsessed with them, but they're I'm not gonna put myself through that. If I need to pee, I can leave. If I want a beer, I can leave. While if you are front row, for example, you can't because if you leave, I'm so sorry, you're never gonna see that spot again. You know what I'm saying? So this is a really cool thing and this already should be enough for you. Don't be scared. <laughs> are we gonna make a bath? If I lose, I don't do anything, but if you lose, you're gonna get subscribed. I bet that when you go to a concert by yourself, you are gonna make friends. At least one friend, I am 100% sure that you're gonna make unless there is something wrong with you. Even if there is, okay? Because I met most of my best friends at concerts, especially concert lines. Because I spent a long time in the lines doing literally nothing, I naturally made friends. And I noticed that when I had someone else, depending on who the person was, I was a little bit more close because I was already comfortable. I already had someone. They're gonna try to be friends with you as well in case you're very shy. It already happened that it was the opposite. You know, like I had a group of friends or I was by myself and I noticed someone else by myself and I was like, oh, they seem nice. I just started like asking about something and it's very easy to make friends at concerts because of the simple fact that you guys already have two really big things in common the artist who is playing and the fact that you like live music and that you're willing to spend hours in line already shows that you have some bonding to do even if you start talking about the new album or the concert that happened in the previous night i just made so many good friends like i made friends from other country i made friends from different states it's something that i noticed that it doesn't really happen when you are with somebody else which by the way is the thing that I did not put in my list but it's something so important there's a saying I don't know if you have this in the US or whatever country you're watching it but I know that my grandma from Brazil she used to say a lot that it's better alone than being with someone who is gonna be a pain in the ass that was not exactly the same but that's the, the vibe of the same but yeah sometimes you're better off alone it's just so 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 frustrating to be with someone that complains about everything that is not nice about stuff i remember this because i said that depending on who are, you are with you're gonna be more close so i've been to concerts with people who are very nice and open but it already happened a few times that someone tries to be friends with us and the person is like one question that I get a lot, oh my god, Kemi, how are you always backstage? Well, first of all, I'm very hot. I just go to concerts by myself and it has always been like this. I am never fucking invited backstage when I am with some other people. It does not matter. It does involve a little bit of luck, but everything in life does. The fact that is that you want to get backstage, you gotta be independent, baby. 
if you don't have anyone else around you people are just gonna let you go in front of them except if it's like a hairstyle Taylor Swift concert then don't even try but usually when I go to concerts because of my high people just let me go in front of them I saw some people on TikTok saying that it's not always like that and stuff you can always ask I arrived for Ellen in Chance once 20 minutes before the concert started and I still was barrier I was in all the pictures I got a guitar I pick I said oh I did the whole thing and it was just because people would look at me I was like oh do you want to go in front of me so it was actually very nice of them sometimes I would just ask like do you mind if I go in front of you because I cannot sit shit sometimes they're gonna say no sometimes they're gonna be very rude it really depends but it's a way easier for you to get to a nicer spot if you are by yourself and finally the last and most important reason that I love going to concerts by myself and that you definitely should try as well the empowerment and confidence that you feel after going to a concert by yourself it's insane especially a music festival I have always been independent right I'm an Aquarius <laughs> I went to Reading which was my biggest ring in life of course I went by myself because who the fuck would spend money going to another country like it involves flight tickets and hotels and food and of course the the festival ticket I did all that and I hated the music festival I hate it. It was so bad, but I was so happy because I made my biggest dream come true. I've been to a period of life where I was very depressed and I was not feeling like myself and I did not recognize my energy yet. To be honest, I'm still healing. I'm still looking for that confidence again. I'm still looking for that energy again. That when I was coming back to the hostel in the train, I started thinking, I did it. I survived a whole day by myself in a music festival in another country. Like I said, I'm used to go to stuff by myself. I am very independent, but sometimes just going to a small venue show or just going to that artist that you really love is already going to be a big deal for you. And I'm so proud of you for that because you're just going to have a great time regardless. That's why Reading and London was so symbolic. I went to bars by myself. I went to Europe by myself and it's, it was a long flight and I was totally by myself in a moment that I was very fragile and very vulnerable because of all that I've been through when I came back I was like you know what I do not need to take any shit from anyone because I am not for myself this is a very 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 empowering feeling that I think everyone should feel it's gonna be scary you're gonna feel shy I'm very extroverted and everything but I felt shy so many times I just didn't know exactly what to do and where to be at just mind your business just be nice just be open for it go to an open heart for you to meet new people for you to understand that this is gonna be a good experience regardless you should definitely stop missing out on the good stuff of life just because you don't have anyone to go with and that's it i hope you liked the video i hope you have a new year i was joking about not accomplishing your goals okay i was not actually because i don't either so that's okay we're taking it easy this is already a big step and if you go to a concert by myself please let me know how it was because i'm rooting for you okay bye have a new year Happy New Year. Do you want to see Phoebe? <laughs> I always want to show my dog for nothing.